Hey everybody, this is Jennifer and I'm excited to have another GGYP top producer interview for you. And today we are talking with Erica Hernandez out of the Pearland office. Thank you for joining us, Erica. Thank you for having me. And so I want to talk a little bit about, you know, your success in real estate. But one thing we were chatting about before is we were both teachers before we got into real estate. And I personally, I really think that helped me when it comes to working with clients, don't you? I do. And I was sharing with you that I've been a realtor longer than I was a teacher, which is so crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm approaching my five year anniversary and I can't see myself doing anything else. I mean, everything that I learned being a teacher has really helped me in real estate. Exactly. You have to deal with tons of different personalities. You have to learn how to communicate, like take information that's kind of complicated and make it really simple, you know, and hold people's hand as long as they go. You have to have a lot of patience. What grade did you teach? So I taught kinder and then I taught- Oh, you have to have a lot of patience. <laughs> I had a lot of patience, yeah. And, you know, and I love teaching. They teach us how to be teachers, right, in school. Mm -hmm. And so we know that people are all types of learners, visual, you know, there's different kinds of learners. Yep. And I use that when I teach about real estate. So uh -huh. if you would see my presentations for buyers and sellers, I mean, uh -huh. I'm putting pictures out. They're like, what's a survey? You know, I'm like, this is a survey. It's a picture right here. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> no, I'm I'll definitely a visual you. learner. So I would love that if an agent sat down and showed me, you know. Right, because I can sit here and talk to you for about an hour and you're going to forget everything I said. Mm -hmm. But if I have a book right in front of me that has pictures and, you know, that little map we have for Gary Green, like this is where you start, this is where you are. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, money signs for here's where your checks are. I even put copies of the checks in the book. I'll say, here, I'm going to be looking for two checks. <laughs> This is what you need to give me. And so they're like, oh, okay, checks, two checks. <laughs> yes. Awesome. No, I love that idea. So, okay, so five years then, you've been a realtor. Tell, talk to me about like your first couple of years, like getting going. Like, did you, did you struggle? <laughs> did you, what things did you do that, that helped get you where you are now? Okay, so I think most realtors, for the most part, struggle. The people that don't struggle, I think, because they had some kind of uh, connection to real yeah. estate. Maybe their parents or someone had already taught them. I came from no one in my family. I don't have friends, cousins, anyone in my family who does real estate. So mm -hmm. of course that first year was super, super hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. I actually ended up quitting teaching because I wanted to give real estate full time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I, I don't have a check. I haven't <laughs> got paid, you know? <laughs> It's and you know, going to work was a lot different, right? Like at school, I would go in and I knew what I was going to do. In real estate, it's like, what do I do today? <laughs> so of course, that first year was so, so, so hard for me. Um, I tried everything, door knocking, open houses, mail outs, pretty much everything and anything. And then I tried videos. Okay. And as soon as I started doing videos, my, my business just blew up. I mean, awesome. people were like reaching out to me left and right. You know, they're like, you're the real estate expert. I know five realtors, but you're the only one that gives us information. Mm -hmm. You know, so just like you, you and I are the same almost. Yeah. You know, I post every single Monday. Love every it. single Monday I'm posting like, you know, five mistakes buyers make or, you know, how to get qualified or homestead. I'm, I'm getting ready to make my homestead video. Yeah. Um, and so video is is kind of where it blew up for me. So now that I do video, I do it more because I know it works. Yeah. I love that first, obviously, because <laughs> I do it a lot too. But so when you, I want to talk about that a little bit. So when you're doing your videos, you're posting them on social media, right? Yes. All of this is yes. free. So, <laughs> right. So I post to every single social media I have. I uh -huh. have Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, uh -huh. and then of course YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're posting on YouTube. So I've gotten a lot better with thumbnails, you know, yeah. on the, you know, YouTube <laughs> and, um, at first it was hard to be consistent. I'm sure you and I can tell everybody it's not easy. It looks easy. Cause it's like, Oh, she's posting again. It's Monday. But I've had some times where my work week was so busy. It's Sunday night and I'm having my husband like film me real quick. Yeah. Like, Hey, I need to put something out because if I don't post, then that's two weeks. People haven't seen my face, mm -hmm. you know? I so uh, yeah, the consistency, I think is the hardest thing. And then of course, being comfortable with the camera, <laughs> staring at something like we are right now, like staring yeah. at the 
your lens to like focus and make sure that you're not doing weird stuff with your hair or you know that everything's perfect um people are so hard on themselves and that's kind of how I was too but then I was like you know what I have to do this and now I'm consistent every single Monday. I don't miss a Monday. <laughs> I, do. I think it's really hard for people because they don't like themselves on video. You know, they don't no. like the way they look or the way they sound. And so you just kind of have to be willing to be bad at it for a little bit. And then, I mean, I'm sure if you compared your videos now to your videos when you started, you probably... <laughs> Please don't look at, don't go searching. <laughs> if I have someone that are so bad, when I look back at them now, I'm like, oh my gosh. But, you know, yeah. like the more you do it the better you get at it and I really think I've been reading a lot of stuff on marketing lately and all this giving right. people helpful information that helps them you know yeah. not marketing that's all about you right you, like here's what I did look at me I'm so great but <laughs> hey like let me explain the new construction process to you let me explain how homestead exemptions work you know that's helpful stuff and if you are putting that out there repeatedly I can absolutely see why your business has grown so that's oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's always about clients. Um, even when the pandemic started, I, you know, we're kind of used to working from home. For the most part, we yeah. don't have to go in the office. And so I put out videos of like how to work from home and be consistent, like make a little plan for yourself. And I even posted for teachers um, a video on how to make a video and edit from an app on your phone because they were making videos for their kids. Uh -huh. So I put out a video and all my teacher friends were like, oh, I shared it with my teacher, you know, coworker and stuff uh -huh. like that. And it was nothing to do with real estate, but it was like, hey, because of real estate, I've been doing this. So here mm -hmm. are some tips. And I just, it's creative ways to stay on top of people and give them something that they can use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love that you said earlier about how, you know, now they so use the real estate expert. Because even if you're a newer agent, even if you don't have listings, even if you don't maybe have a buyer that you're working with right now, if you're out there talking about real estate, then they see you as the expert. They don't know <laughs> whether you have business going on or not. So I love that you keep sharing those things. And now you're, you're the go-to person, right? Right. So yeah, I mean, even if you, you haven't done any deals, you post a video about something that you learned, you look like the expert now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think that helps a lot of people that you just kind of post and the information that you know, they're like, oh, you're the expert because you're always putting out something and sometimes they'll click on it, sometimes they don't, mm -hmm. but when they're ready. They're exactly, because you're the one at the top of their top of their mind because they see right. all so what advice would you give to other agents out there who maybe their business isn't where they want it to be right now? Well, you know, it's crazy because at the office, you know, people know that I'm the top producer and they'll ask me like, hey, Erica, like, what can I do? Like, what did you do? And the best advice I can give is find something that works for you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I found the video thing and I love it now. I don't know. I might be full of myself. I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun for me, you know, like. It's so hard, all this business stuff and all this, you know, paperwork stuff. But the video part is the fun part for me. Mm -hmm. And like picking my outfit and, you know, yeah. what lighting am I going to film in my car today? It's really fun for me. So I love it and I do it. And I think it shows um, when I post videos. So don't do video because video is what's hot. You know, do something that you're comfortable with and you love doing. Because if not, I mean, you try doing videos and you're going to hate it, then you're going to look really bad in front of people because you look like you hate what you're doing. Um, so find something that you love to do, really figure out what kind of person you are, and then go with it. And try everything you can, and you're going to find it. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end, you'll find what, what works for you. Yeah, I agree. I think there's no one way to succeed in this business. Like some people kill it with open houses. You know, some people right. kill it with videos. Some people are great at working their like, net, you know, their sphere of friends, you know, like it doesn't, there's not a one size fits all. Yeah. Yeah. And I've heard a lot about open houses. I never really got comfortable with open houses. Mm -hmm. It's so funny because on video, I mean, I don't know, I play it off well on video, but in person I get really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so open houses are not for me. They're not. I mean, I get really nervous in front of people. The good thing about videos is you, you can kind of edit it later. Mm -hmm. Like, ooh, that didn't sound right. That's not what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, so some people have, I mean, I've seen, I've partnered with people at open houses and I'm like, 
you talk to those people like you knew them, you know, and I don't, I don't have that strength, I guess. Um, so find your strength, really. That's great yeah. advice. Okay, so we're going to sum it up today. Be a good educator. <laughs> yeah. I love the visual idea, like actually showing them stuff, because you're right, that's going to help them remember. I also think, we didn't say this, but teachers are very used to a schedule. Yes. So I think we're also good about, like, when we get in this job, we don't just, like, sit around in our yoga pants till 2 o'clock, you know? <laughs> okay, like, it's time to work, you know? Um, but that, and then finding something you're really good at and sharing helpful information is a great way to, to build yeah your presence out there so that's awesome well thank you so much for chatting with us today awesome. all right you tell mark keith i said hi i will tell him <laughs> <laughs> all right and we'll see good you luck this week. year too happy 2021 and you're gonna kill it i watch your videos every monday so keep posting them oh we will, <laughs> we will. thanks erica